Hello everyone, continuing with the same topic of the theory of supply, in this video we will discuss the law of supply. If you are a producer, you will sell the commodities produced in your factory or the goods produced in your factory at higher price or lower price? Simple, the answer is very obvious. You will sell your commodities at higher price. Why? Because at higher price, you are getting a better margin and you will have better profits. You are getting better profits. So why sell at lower prices? In that case, you will be uh, in, uh, incurring losses. So to avoid losses, all the producers want to sell their commodities in the market at higher price. So this is what is the basis of your law of supply. You can see here, law of supply states that other things remaining constant quantity supplied increases with increase in supply pay attention over here other things remaining constant that means other than price only price affects the supply of the market okay quantity supplied okay other things remaining constant quantity supplied that is any quantity which a producer supplies in the market depends on what increases with increase in its price that means the direct relation between price and the quantity supplied in the market. So, higher the price in the market, higher will be the quantity supplied by producer in the market. So, higher price means higher supply and lower price means lower supply. That is clear? Okay. So, higher price means, repeat, higher supply and lower price means lower supply. Okay. We can see this is a firm and this is a schedule of that quantity supplied at different prices and this is the curve. Let's discuss them now. Okay, so this is a sugar mill and these are the prices of sugar of uh, different uh, quantities and price per kg. You can see and this is quantity in kg. Okay, so price per kg here is 50 rupees per kg then 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, then in the same manner when price are, prices are increasing, quantity you can see are also increases corresponding to them. So what is happening at 50? The producer is supplying 100 kg of sugar, 60, 150, 70, 200, 80, 250 and so on. So what is uh, the thing you can see over here is the, pr the price increase is in these inducing quantity supply to increase. Okay, quantity supply is being increased with increasing price. So in this manner we can portray this schedule on this curve also. Here we have taken on vertical axis, we have taken, y, this is y axis, we have taken prices of the commodities that is sugar and here on horizontal axis we are taking the quantity that is supplied at different prices okay so here what is happening at rupees 50 what is the quantity supplied is 100 kg at 60 it is 150 kg and so on like this schedule is here we have just seen these points 50 and 100 this adjoining point is this here this part is this all these points are here with us and by joining all these points we get a supply curve so what is the slope of supply? It's positively sloped. Why? Because as price is increasing, demand uh, quantity supplied is also increasing. So supply curve has a positive slope. That means there is a direct relationship between price and the quantity supplied by producers in the market. Clear? This is law of supply. Clear? Now, assumptions of law of supply, they are very simple. Number one, no change. I have no change only once and thereafter I have mentioned all the assumptions over here. No change in price of factors of production. Price of factors of production. You understand five factors of production. What are they? Land, labor, capital, entrepreneur, etc. So the price of all these factors remain unchanged. They do not change. When this uh, law of supply is operating, it will be operating only when all these things remain constant. Then technique of production does not change. It remains same. You don't buy a new machine. You uh, does not get bankrupt. You do not get bankrupt and you lose all your machines or your machines have depreciated anything like that breakdown. Then goal of firm, your goal hasn't changed. That means you don't shift from a goal of higher sales to higher profit. Okay, so your goal remains uh, same. Price of related goods remains same. Price of substitute goods do not change. Price of complementary goods do not change. Business expectations do not change. If in market, if the expectation is bullish or bearish, it will not change. Bullish means higher expectations. That means uh, expectations of higher profit, higher demand. Okay. Then, and bearish means lower demand, lower expectations. That means depression kind of condition in the market. Then government policy. Government policy means what are the role of government policy? That means they either uh, levy some new taxation on uh, producers or they, or they, what? they provide some subsidy for production to help or a 
assist them in production activities. So government policy also does not change. Then only this law will operate. In any in any case, if these conditions, in any of these conditions, if this any of these conditions change, then law of supply will not operate. So the other the, the assumptions or the conditions or the constraints you can say of this law. Then movements along supply curve. Then we'll discuss movements along supply curve. When you say along, that means side by side. You are moving side by side. When I say I was moving along with my friend, that means I was moving by his side, beside him. I was or beside her. I was along that person or along the bank of the river or anything like along the line or anything. So along means side by side. So when your uh, movement is side by side the supply curve, that is your what extension and contraction just like a rubber band when you extend this this becomes larger and when you contract that it becomes lesser that means extension means that you are expanding you are extending the supply and then contracting means you are lessening the supply you are diminishing the supply in that case we can discuss it over here also that means when like for example when the price was 60 your Supply was 150. So this is the initial point. But in case when price of this sugar increased from rupees 60 to 80, what happened? Your sub quantity supplied increased from 150 kg to 250 kg. In that case, what happened? Your supply moved from 150 to 250. That means you are extending. This is extension of your demand uh, supply. Okay. I have written supply, I need to write supply over here, this is demanded, okay. So supply, so here extension of supply, if in any case, if your price decreases from rupees 80 to 60, what will happen? Again, your quantity will come back to the point of 150, why? It will contract, because producers will sell lesser quantity at lesser price or lower price so this is exchange and contraction you can just once again make an l i always make a big l then ox y then what is extension make a supply curve this is extension moving forward along the same uh, supply curve this supply curve and when you move back this is contraction in this way you can show this extension and contraction and this is Quantity supplied. You discuss actually what you mean. It discuss quantity supplied. Okay. Supplied. Right. Then shift in supply curve. What is shift? Shift basically means that you are changing the position. Right. I'm standing here. Now I have moved to this position. That means I have shifted my position. This, this is known as shift. In the same manner, where supply curve changes its position, that is more known as shift in supply curve. For example, if your supply curve initially was this and now it moves forward, this is shift. Again, if it moves backward, this is leftward shift and this is your rightward shift. So this is known as shift. But anyway, why does this shift happen at all? This shift happens due to the factors other than price. Here, price does not play any role. In extension and contraction of supply, Price was the main factor, it was the only factor in fact. But in your shift in supply curve, price is nowhere to be seen. Only other factors other than price play a prominent role in shifting of the, your supply curve. So increase and decrease is also known as shift in uh, supply curve. And it discusses the supply, whole supply, why? Because one schedule of your uh, quantity supply makes a supply. So here whole schedule is being discussed and whole curve is being discussed. Not individual quantities are not discussed here. So whole supply is discussed here. So it discusses supply and your extension and contraction discuss what? They discuss quantity supply. Quantity supply is individual quantity and supply means a whole lot of, that means whole set of sub quantity supplies that is whole schedule or whole curve. Okay, now here. Now if in any case, take for example, price of factors for production. We are taking this factor if here price is constant. Remember this thing, price does not play any role and it is constant, it is unchanged. Okay. So here, if take for example, what are the causes of extension and contraction? We will discuss them. See for example, in your book, what is happening? There is a lot of repetition of these factors. 
these remain the same these price of factors of production these are determinants of supply so they will all be the same they are the causes of shift in demand sorry shift in supply curve also so i have not written them once again these are the causes of uh, increase and decrease in supply curve i will discuss them simultaneously with this uh, set of uh, assumptions only so assumptions are the determinants also so you need not repeat them once again what you will do number one is price of factors of production if in any case price of factors of production increases what will happen your production will become costlier because all the factors of production like land labor capital they have become expensive and you don't have enough money you don't have enough money to finance your production then what will happen your production will decrease and in case your production will decrease you will decrease your supply so we will see over here what how does it happen initially if your supply curve was this and you were supplying 200 kg of sugar per day for example okay at any price take for example your price is constant and it is rupees 80 per kg okay so at rupees 80 per kg you would uh, just uh, supplying this quantity but in any case the factors of production become expensive in that case you will decrease your production and what will happen when your production decreases you will decrease your supply or not and in that case what will happen your supply curve will shift towards left that means decrease okay so here it is decrease and here you put a dotted line i join it here then suppose it's 100 kg now the quantity has decreased from 200 kg to 100 kg what has happened your supply has decreased and your supply curve has moved leftward and this is known as decrease in supply okay this s1 s1 this was initial supply curve now it has moved towards left its backward shift has taken place s2 s2 this is known as backward shift means leftward how do you decide this is right version or left version? You just keep your hands on your copy, notebook or board and here on right, this is your right hand, this is your right version. If your uh, supply curve moves towards right, this is right version and if it moves towards left, this is left version. So forward shift is your right version and backward shift is your left because it is moving towards your left hand and it's moving towards your right hand. So this is your right version. If in right worship means increase in supply how because when this curve is moving towards right what is happening see the supply corresponding to this it, it has increased from 200 to not uh, 200 to something anything you can add 300 kg or 350 kg so it has increased so with forward shift your supply curve increases your supply increases in the left worship or back worship your supply decreases clear now when price of factors of production increase your supply will decrease and when price of factors of production decrease, your supply will increase. Same. Then, goal of uh, techniques of production. If in any case your techniques of production improve, you have higher mechanization, you have better techniques of production, then what will happen? You will increase your production and you will supply more in the market. So, in that case, what will happen? Your supply curve will shift rightward. And if your technology uh, diminishes in any case, it becomes deteriorated or becomes lesser uh, good that what will happen there will be a leftward shift or decrease in supply then goal of firm if you want to just sell more in the market you will uh, just send more of the quantity you will release more of the quantity in the market and in that case your supply curve will shift towards right price of related goods is important to discuss you only have to remember one thing price of related goods has inverse effect or opposite effect on the quantity supplied of the commodities okay shift on the supply curve take for example over here price is here the supply curve initial supply curve is here if price of related goods increase in that case what will happen they will decrease their supply okay they decrease this supply there will be left word shift okay here s1 s1 s2 s2 okay what will happen if price of related goods increase supply curve will shift towards left of that commodity say for example if price of t if price of t decreases increases then there will be leftward shift in supply curve of your uh, coffee and if price of your t decreases there will be rightward shift that means there is in the, uh, that means opposite relationship between the uh, supply curve of any commodity with its and the, with the price of your related goods then business expectations business expectations means if there is bullish expectation in the market that demand will increase in the market 
or there will be a very rosy picture in the business people will have better profits then in that case supply curve will shift towards right this is right word shift okay forward shift and if business expectations are bearish that means people are depressive they are not motivated at all in that case supply curve will shift towards left that means the supply will decrease government policy this is very important it has a heavy bearing on your supply how because government does two types of things on your supply that is one is your subsidy another is taxation for taxation what will happen if this is your initial supply curve and if there is some type of tax that is levied on your production then what will happen your production will become costlier in that case your supply curve will shift towards left okay this is left word shift it will shift towards left because the supply will decrease because you don't have enough money or finance to do your production in other case if some tax is uplifted in that case you will have better opportunity where you will have better finance and you can produce more and sell more in the market and your supply curve will shift towards right simple you will increase your supply or not forward shift in other case in cases of subsidies what will happen subsidies what do they do subsidies are very important what do they do they just help producers to produce more commodities at lesser prices so this is if the price is here okay so initial supply curve is this for any firm ss okay s1 s1 if there is some kind of subsidy that is provided by the government it helps producers to produce more commodity at lesser prices maybe owing to some economic aid in that case they will produce more and they will supply more so there will be forward shift in supply curve because subsidy is help to producers and taxes cut in their assets okay cut in their economic assets so what happens if some subsidy is given to producers they will produce more and supply more if any subsidy is withdrawn it's taken away by the government in that case they will supply less in the market because they can produce less now okay so this is s3 s3 so understood forward and the backward shift forward means the right word shift and backward means the left word shift so when supply increases it shifts towards right and supply decreases it shifts towards left okay so that's hopefully very much clear pretty much clear with all of you so we'll meet in our next lecture thank you so much take care god bless you